All right, Shalom. I want to say Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew interpret. Bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. I just got a quick response because I was watching uh, Elder Apostle Gabar's video and um, he did a response to his own video because uh, big bad old chief Ephraim, you know, the mighty warrior, you know, had to respond on his page because he didn't like the fact that Elder Apostle Gabar, you know, was basically telling it like it is, man. You know, we're not supposed to be wearing no goddamn army fatigue in the camp, man. And especially not in a time like this where, you know, I'm watching news. Brothers are watching the news. Everybody of Israel, the Israel world, are seeing what these devils are doing. You know that they're, uh, you know, lying and, and uh, false flagging and setting up traps. Why would you antagonize them you know why would you want to uh, draw attention in a negative way to yourself because what they're wearing is is negative you know the lord you know sent us out as prophets man okay we're not this militant carnal militant you know ex-marines that came together and teaching the bible and ready for war you know we're ready for war spiritually let me tell you man we're ready for war spiritually if the Lord has us ready for war spiritually because we're fighting a spiritual war. Did not the scriptures say our warfare is not carnal? <laughs> okay. And um, I just want to say this too, you know, my personal opinion. You know, I believe certain guys are agents, man. And they're set up, you know, they infiltrated the camp. They established themselves over the years. And now they're great, mighty teachers, you know. And they set themselves up and now they're head of a church and here you go. You know, they're leading the flock, you know, into destruction. And uh, another thing too, you know, you got certain men that are fans, man. And you keep rooting for these guys to win because they out there teaching the word, you know. But their actions are not adding up to the scriptures. You know, this is why here at Great Millstone start with the heads thereof, Elder Apostle Tahar Gabar. You know, Rakar, Apostle Rumlop, and the elders on down. You know, we teach the scriptures, man, as, as the scriptures is written. You know, the scriptures talk about us being spiritual men. You know, now, this guy, he made his comment saying to Gabar, you know, where uh, the Lord didn't get the spirit of fear. Uh, I'm going to say this, man. Some of these guys in these different camps, they have the wrong perspective of the scriptures. They're twisting scriptures. And they're playing on you on you guys' minds, man. You know, to say that, that that's the wrong thing. That's the wrong time to be using uh, the spirit of fear. First off, the Lord told us to be um, circumspect. You know, you know, Elder Apostle Gabar in his video, he you know he nailed it. You know, as he do always. You know, he he, he lines them up right and knock them down, man. Uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because uh, even um, Yahweh Shai. Had a, a fierce spirit when it was time for him to um, go up on the cross. You know, so we are going to be scared. Don't the scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be safe? You know, but guys like them will use um, a certain, they will use their analogy in a certain way that will convince not, they will convince non-spiritual men. You know, like another thing, don't let nobody tell you uh fuck it you know this fuck it attitude like you don't care about your life listen man we all care about our lives but if we put in a situation where it's out of our hands all right and it's up to you how bashim i was to deliver us that's the time when you say you know what fuck it because my faith is with the lord but other than that if the lord give you time excuse me if the lord give you an option to make a decision you want to hope and pray that the lord guide your steps in the right decision you know so you be what as a lamb you be harmless as a dove, wise as a serpent. You know, some of these guys, as like the elder said, Elder Apostle Gabar said, you know, some guys going to get it, some guys are not. And we're not tough guys, man. Okay. 
the most high, you, this, 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 the power within the spirit. We're winning the spiritual war. And this is why Esau is going carnal. When the Lord show his power, he's showing his power out of weak men. The Lord is getting his glory out of the way of us being small remnant, a small remnant. And through us being weak, not being tough, man. We're tough spiritually. Yeah, we got to be tough mentally, spiritually, you know. And some hey, some brothers want to, you know, be tough physically because you might work out and things like that. You want to have good health and be able to run because you don't want to be somebody that can't even, you know, run up the steps or something, you know. But when it comes to this word, the word, the Lord, Yahweh Shai teaches us how to move, man. You know, and and, uh, and I'm going to say it, man. You know, I ain't calling names, but the time will reveal itself. Stop rooting for these men that are carnal. Stop rooting for them. You know? Because these men are paid off, man. And um, you know, I ain't gonna get to, you know, say too much. That's it for that. So let me read a scripture because I don't want to make this a rant. I just had a lot of thoughts I wanted to put out. And uh let me, yeah, let's show you show you the picture here, man. You know, this shit right here is 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 crazy. You know, at a time like this, it's like you think we stupid? Do we look stupid to you? It's not Esau demonize us and then you go do a camp with all you guys in army fatigue like y'all ready for y'all ready like if Esau roll up y'all gonna pull out your guns. Isn't he the same guys that went to the gun range? Isn't he the same guy and the guy behind him Sakari? Isn't he the same guy that said that we are I, uh, black identity extremists? These man, come on man, stop rooting for these guys man. You know the Lord gonna deal with you brothers man. You know, this is stupid, but this is the Lord's movie. So, hey, who am I? You know, the, these things are going to happen because you got you got the right men of the Lord and you have the false men of the Lord, man. You know, and I'm just calling it straight, man. I don't care what you think, man. I don't care what you say. You know, this shit keep going on and on. Their actions are loud, man. Sakari, his actions are loud. Chief Ephraim, his actions are loud. They're loud, man. And they're negative, man. Negative, man. You know? So, you know, I'll just read a quick scripture and I'm going to end it with that. You know? I'm just saying for brothers, stop rooting for certain men. And you guys out there, meaning outside of Great Millstone, brothers that, you know, that follow the truth. And, you know, you love brothers when they speak the truth. Follow spiritual men. That's why I said follow Great Millstone, man. You know, get in order, man. You should be wanting to be in order and not do this. Do your own thing. Because doing your own thing ain't cutting it, man. You got to follow your how about Shimmy how shy. You know, you got to, hey, you should be in fear in hopes that you don't make a wrong decision. Guys want to be the forerunner of persecution. What the fuck is wrong with you? What if the Lord have you get persecuted? Have you hog, hogged off, they hog you off to Guantanamo Bay to one of these pr terrorist prisons and then and the Lord ain't delivering us from, the, the Lord ain't delivering us until four, three, four, five years from now. And guess what? You probably won't even get delivered for the stupid shit you did. Then you be that whole five years, you know, God forbid it be five years, but that whole five, you sitting there want to repent, you know, because you know you done did something stupid, man. Anyway, man, this is, um, uh, let me get the scripture. This is Matthew 22 and 9. Go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. We supposed to go out there as prophets and bid the elect because we not, we had the, with the understanding we, we understand that the Lord is not coming for all of the Israelites. Look, you got Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, man. You got two-thirds of our people that don't care two shits about being a Hebrew Israelite. They don't care nothing about the Bible. They want to go at the world according to how they were taught. You think the Lord going to deliver them? It's, it's so narrow that the Lord not even going to deliver certain Israelites that know that they Israelites, man. This this thing of ours is boiling down to a to to a, a great number, a small number, which is of great. Uh, I'm gonna say starting with the men, great men, because that's that cluster of great. The Lord said He kept to Himself, which is of the elect. You know, why would you hang yourself? Why would you antagonize these police at a time like this? What are you stupid? Oh, but you will use the the term of oh Lord and get the spirit of fear. I remember going through this shit. That's why I want to speak on it. And that's why I said it's a little, um, it's a testimony and probably some things, but I ain't going to go too far, too personal. But I've been through this shit. I've been through this shit. 
you know, wanted you to do this, wanted you to stand on the flag and then wanted you to carry, put a flag on your foot. And I was the one in that time saying I didn't want to do it. And you know what they was doing to me? Oh, you scared, war, war, you scared. I'm scared because I didn't want to do that shit. Because it was stupid. It's not the word. And, and, and like the elder said, the apostle said, man, the word is enough. We're holding the banner up every day. You see what's going on out here? You see how these, East, these Edomites are moving? You see how they staging shit up? What's, what making them do that? The word, the banner, the Bible. And by what? The elect waking up through the, through the world, man. Not, not you and army fatigue, which, listen, man, vengeance belong unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Vengeance do not, but vengeance do not belong unto Sakari nor Chief Ephraim and his followers. Vengeance don't belong unto them. Vengeance belong unto the Lord. The scriptures say, wait ye upon the Lord till I rise up to the prey. So we're waiting, we're men, we're lambs sent out to teach this word among wolves, among lions, dragons, serpents. And to preach this word and to usher the, 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 uh, the way of Yahweh Shai coming in, okay, fulfilling prophecy, and the Lord is going to protect us, man. Because we're supposed to be what? Blameless and innocent. The Most High is showing his power through the weak, not through the tough guys, man. Anyway, go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. You know, all that shit. I remember being a part of a certain philosophy, what you want to call it, ideology, philosophy within this truth of Israel. I'm thankful for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and that the brothers who I camp with, we all in the right page and the right steps following the right order, man. We just say it like that because all that other shit is nigga shit, man. It's straight up nigga shit and it's personal shit. Niggas talk about uh, righteous men off camera, but then when you get on camera, you say something else. Playing a game, man. You know? And the Lord sees all that shit, man. When this shit hit the fan, you want to have everything. You want to be what? Have the knowledge and wisdom. Because that's the stability. That's what's keep going to keep brothers stable. The word of the Lord. Not your personal nigga at your attitude, man. Your tough shit, man. I hope guys ain't trying to still looking for views, man. <laughs> you know? Because you got it. You can have the views. It didn't Chief Ephraim them make a... Uh, Channel 9 News, didn't they? NBC News. When they was up there with the, the Edomite, with the uh, with the Trump hat. How much more attention do you want? Right now, you should be trying to wake up the very elect, the hidden ones, man. So it says, uh, Matthew 22 and 10. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found. Both bad and good. And the wedding was fin was finished with guests. Uh, furnished with guests. like it. It says, and the Lord said unto unto the servants, Luke 14, 23, go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. You know, so Salakia, you know, that's basically it. Let me get off this thing because I don't want to make a rent. But, you know, it kind of, uh, you know, got to me in the, in the spirit, man, you know, dealing with this situation because guys are paid agents, man. And, and brothers got to be smart enough to see certain shit, man, you know. And stop rooting for certain guys, man. You know, and let the Lord just do what he do. You know, get away from them guys, man. I'm telling you. Because watch. I'm going to just say it, man. When when these paid agents get, uh, when, 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 when their time is up, they're going to go out with a blast, man. You know, they're going to go out with a blast. And when you realize and go, oh, shit. Yo, I suspected he was. Damn, yo. Now, I'm caught up with this shit, you know, but hey, this is the Lord's movie, man. You know, this is the Lord's movie. So the Lord do what he do. But for those of the whole four elect, hey, keep eyes open, man. Be circumspect, man. And get away from any of that bullshit, man. You know, so with that, Shalom.